how you guys doing? So, in a few minutes here, I'm about to go see Blade Runner 2049. I'm really looking forward to this. I recently just watched Blade Runner for the first time, actually. I watched the final cut, because apparently that's the best one. And I really enjoyed it. I don't think it's like the cinematic masterpiece everybody says it is. I really enjoyed the neo-noir style. And I understood where they were going with their uh, messages. I just didn't think it like hit all the way for me, but I really did enjoy it. And what really gets me excited about this is Denis Villeneuve. I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, but I don't think he's made a bad movie yet, and I cannot wait to see this. From everything I've seen in the trailers, it looks like a beautiful style. And if I think he's paired with Roger Deakins uh, again for this movie, and if he is, I know this movie's going to look beautiful. I'm really interested to see how his version of this world looks like in comparison to Ridley Scott's. And uh, I don't really get want to get into my thoughts on how I've seen it compared, like, so far as the trailers. I'll save that for afterwards. But uh, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to this. This is going to be a long one. It's like almost three hours. So I think if he could pull it off, he could pull it off really well. And we could have what Mad Max Fury Road did back in uh, 2015. It could be that sci-fi action movie that for some reason it gets nominated for Best Picture, gets nominated for an incredible amount of Oscars. And I'm really looking forward to this. Um, if you guys haven't seen it at this point, let me know what you guys are thinking about. What interests you about this movie? Are you intending? Are you going to go see this movie? Let me know in the comments section below. I'll see you guys right after I finish Blade Runner 2049. Hey guys, so I'm going to make this after part quick because it's really late and my camera's about to die. But I just got back from seeing Blade Runner 2049 and I absolutely loved it. Uh, the movie that stars Ryan Gosling and kind of Harrison Ford? I'll get back to that in a second. Um, it's about Ryan Gosling who is a Blade Runner and um, he's on this mission to find what could potentially be the first child of a replicant and throughout that there's a lot of messages about humanity and all that stuff like the original one had and what I really loved about this movie was it kept, it kept like the same aesthetic as the first one LA is a very dingy place but from the difference between this movie and uh, the original was this one felt a little less claustrophobic I kind of really liked that. The first one, it felt like everywhere that uh, Deckard went, there was somebody like he was bumping into. This one, it didn't really feel like that, and I really enjoyed that a little bit more. I thought Ryan Gosling did a really good job. Harrison Ford, for as much as he's in it, which is probably the third act, I thought he did a really good job too, but forewarned, he's only in it for like the third act. I know the posters are making it look like he's in it the entire time. But, no, he's really in it for the third act. And this movie's beautifully shot. It has a really... It has a lot of different messages and themes to it, like the first one did. And I think it builds upon the world that we've already known. And I think this might be a little bit... Again, I only saw the first movie uh, probably like five or six days ago for the first time. But I think this might be a little bit better. It's right now what I enjoy more. Uh, this is a long movie though, so if you're in this movie, you gotta be in it. You gotta be focused, you gotta be ready. This movie takes you from twists and turns, and I really did enjoy that. Um, I haven't done... I don't think I've done this since March, but again, since I need to be quick, I'm just gonna rate this right now. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. I really did enjoy this. I think Denis Villeneuve is really the star of this movie. Anything... Like, the aesthetic and the way everything looks, it's so beautiful, and he just has this sense of directing the messages behind it, everything behind it. He summed it up best at Comic-Con when somebody asked him, why do you want to do Blade Runner as your next movie? And he said, because I don't want anybody else to fuck it up. And that really, he, it makes sense. I don't want, I didn't want to see anybody else do this, but when I heard Denis Villeneuve was doing this, I was like, okay, I can get behind this. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty quick review for a very long movie, but thank you guys so much for watching. 
Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Go check out our uh, Tee Public store where you can get a bunch of different RM Network merchandise. Make sure you follow the RM Network on Instagram and Twitter. And I think that's everything I've plugged, so I'll see you guys next time.